hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so uh a word on the street y'all drake the satan worshiper his toronto mansion flooded y'all <laughs> lord have mercy y'all it was full of this yellowish water. Oh, it looked like somebody, you know, went to the bathroom up in there. Or like a, a trillion times. Okay, y'all? Word on the street is he took another loss because he lost everything in that place. This is what they're saying. Drake Mansion is being impacted by severe weather in Toronto, y'all. You mean to tell me that Satan didn't stop the rain from coming in his house? This is who he worships. This is who he say he is. Then he call himself the six. Okay, y'all? He run around here disrespecting God. See, this is what I told y'all. This year is the year. Okay, y'all? This is the year for all of these people that's running around here mocking God and playing all these types of games and this and that and that and this and thinking because, you know, they didn't came up because, and I'm going to tell y'all this. All of this crap about, oh, you know, selling your soul to Satan and this and that and that and this. You can tell that a lot of this stuff is some BS in the first place. And I'm going to just throw this out there, okay? Because if Satan was the one behind all of their riches and this and that and that and this, they wouldn't have to have a brotherhood and sisterhood for to um help cover up the stuff that each other is doing to um blackball certain people in the industry. They wouldn't have... To do that now would they satan would be the one that would you know what i'm saying y'all this is what they like the agenda to push off on these kids and make them think oh if you disrespect god that you're going to come up that satan got your back and this and that netness satan ain't never had nobody's back okay y'all but the reason why that they came up is because these group of individuals okay they all got together and they decide who is going to live? Who is going to pass away? They decide who is going to make it in the industry. Who is going to get this role on this TV show? Who's going to get this role on that TV show? Who's going to, you know, be the person that hosts this, you know, award? Who's going to get the award? They all sit back and they sit around a table and they make these choices. I told y'all this in 2020 when I started doing Mo3 stuff. I started looking and I found out so much stuff that I couldn't even believe half of the stuff myself, but I was looking right at it. So I was like, no, you, it, it gotta be true. You're looking at it. You found it. <laughs> okay, y'all. It is so many demons in the industry that's running around here, making things happen, but trying to pretend that, oh, it's witchcraft. It's this, it's that. Yeah, I showed y'all the pictures of Beyonce, you know, on the floor doing her little witchcraft and this and that and that and this and that and that and this. But if you could just depend on witchcraft, then why do you have to line people up? You, you, why wouldn't you just sit back and let the witchcraft work for itself? That's the problem that I have with these people because they want these youngins to believe that this is the way to go when they're the reason that these things are happening. Okay, y'all? And Satan has always been a snake. That's why he was kicked out the heavens, because he was a snake. Okay, y'all? But they want you to believe that Satan been looking out for them. Satan ain't looking out for y'all. Y'all are looking out for y'all, and then y'all behind, hadn't behind Satan, because this is the person that was in the Bible, or the whatever you want to call him, that was in the Bible, Okay? That was cast out the heaven. So this is what they have, you know, conjured up all of this mess to push out here in the industry. Okay, y'all. All of these things that's being pushed out here is being pushed out here because they are being paid to push this stuff out here, y'all. 
Some of these guys that's been in the industry that's wearing dresses and this and that and that and this, some of them is not even sweating Skittles, y'all. But they are wearing these dresses because they want these younger people that look up to him that they got to, because they got a hit song. They want them to think it's okay to be out here, you know, being a street associate and still wearing a dress. This is the agenda that they want to push. They want them to disrespect God in every which shape or form that they possibly can. Okay? And make them think that if you disrespect God and you on Satan's side, he's going to look out for you. But in all actual reality, y'all are the ones that's looking out for each other. This is why y'all blackball people that, you know, in the industry that will not join y'all look crew. And it's sad on so many levels, y'all. But this right here, I had to talk about this. I had to talk about how all of this gas looks luxurious. Okay? They said he got his super luxurious place looking like a water park minus the fun okay they're saying that drake shared the footage of the scene inside his massive estate and there's brown liquid flowing through what appears to be a walk through closet arena okay y'all um all his clothes all his stuff all his furniture all his stuff is destroyed now can he rebuy all this stuff over again yes he can but it's the principle of it all okay to let you know you're not untouchable and if you keep on mocking me um this is what happens when you mock me okay this is this is what god is trying to tell some of these people that's running around here thinking that um <laughs> they all this and that because they got a lot of money because they done hooked up with people in the industry that has supported them. And this is how the certain people stay on top because they line up people that has better talent than them. So you have no choice. Well, they have no choice because I don't listen to their music. Okay. But a lot of people feel like we well, ain't nothing else to listen to. So we might as well listen to these artists that's left. Okay, and then we have these knuckleheads just out here smoking their kneecaps off that's zooted out they mad and think that this music is good for them. Okay, and then they go out and do something stupid, you know, thinking about this music and getting sent off by these artists. But y'all, I had to jump on here. I had to jump on here and let y'all see what was going on in this man's house. Look at here, y'all. Look at here. They in there trying to get that stuff up out of there. And he got rows and rows and rows of clothes, okay? They can't possibly get all of that stuff up out of there. Now, and nine times out of ten, he probably is going to, you know, it's probably going to be a tax write-off for him. And I'm just being completely honest with it. He's going to get a write-off and go about his business. But it's the principle of it, okay, y'all? I think that a lot of stuff that's going on right now, some at you know, I be on the fence about some stuff because I be thinking like it, 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 this could be just God just peed off right now because of the stuff that's going on in the world and he don't like it. Okay, y'all. And this is why certain things are happening in certain places. Everybody's been having power outages, y'all. Everybody has been having power outages. It has been hidden everywhere. Okay. I was trying to do this other channel. You know, I remember I was telling y'all about the Patreon stuff. And I was trying to tell y'all about that. I was getting ready to do the Patreon and set it up and all of that stuff. And my lights went out, y'all. My lights went out. I didn't have no lights, okay? Now, yeah, I had got a generator. Because I was telling y'all, please get generators. Y'all have to go get this stuff. Because you never know how long your lights is going to be out. And if you got a generator, you can go and keep filling up you can get you one of them big you know gas cans and fill it up with gas and keep that and you can just keep on putting that in if it run out and it, that can run for a very for days and days and days and days and days and at least you can keep your stuff that you have coal in the refrigerator and stuff like that and you can keep stuff like that around um yeah y'all and keep everything running you know i still didn't use everything with the generator, I just used the main thing that I had to use, um, like the refrigerator and, you know, just essential stuff. I wasn't trying to, you know, watch TV and all of this other stuff. I wasn't trying to do all of that. I was just trying to keep it at a minimum on using it so it wouldn't just, you know, mess up nothing or whatever. Because I didn't want that to go out on me, too. But, yeah, y'all, um, everybody has been getting hit by outages after outages after outages. 
And I don't know what's going on in Houston. Y'all let me know. Um, let me know in the comment section. Because a lot of people was I, reaching out to me when I was talking about, you know, trying to do something for people in Houston that has been out of, you know, some of our subscribers. You know, I can't look out for everybody, but just some of our subscribers. And everybody is saying how hard a time that they're having right now. Just a few, like, maybe two people, y'all, that I have seen have said, okay, let's do this and this and that. I can't do it by myself, y'all, because I, I got my own things that got going on too that's why i said that everybody could you know pitch in and help people at least buy some more food or something because you know when they get their lights back on or something to help them out but yeah it's a lot going on y'all people have still to this day don't have their power on right now and it's sad that it's even would take this long i've never heard nothing like this in my life people power out is just taking two weeks to get turned back on they lights and all of this stuff this is weird y'all okay this is weird and everybody and i understand y'all please believe me i understand because this is why i do what i do for my subscribers and from time to time i do cash giveaways and this and that and, that and this is because of the fact that i know everybody is struggling times is hard right now people cannot keep up with just buying groceries now serious law and, and paying their bills and groceries and every time you turn around either one is going up if it ain't the groceries going up it's the bills going up okay and this is going on back and forth back and forth if this grow up this month another month or two that go up another month or two later another something that one of your other bills go up and this is what they are doing they're like tag teaming us left and right left and right and it's hitting people's pockets seriously y'all okay and this is why i be saying y'all you know it's time for people you know it whatever way that you can try to make some money and you know legally okay y'all um you got to stick together and help each other out and it's so hard. It really is. This is what my subscribers tell me all the time. It's slow down. Stop just even trying to help people. Because every time you try to help them, they always do you wrong. And this and that and that and this. But that's sad, y'all, that you can't help, we can't help each other and uplift each other. It's a blogger. I forgot his name. But it's a blogger. And he had, he keeps his face covered up all the time. But he, um, he talk about a lot of rap stuff. But the one very thing that I have to salute him for is he is always trying to help somebody else he's always talking about and telling other people if you have stuff that you don't want something that you don't want might be something that somebody else can use okay he's always pushing this he's always talking about you know his moderators and how go and subscribe to their channels and this and that and, that and this he's pushing the helping of other people okay y'all and i love 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 that about this particular blogger I love that about him, okay? And I see he got some haters, too, that be popping in and, and talking stuff. But, you know, he brush it off and go about his business. But one thing I like about him is he likes to help other people. He ain't trying to send some hitters at somebody because they're getting more views than him. He's not trying to, you know, take somebody down because they got, you know... <laughs> A bigger following like it's it's no pettiness about this this blogger and, and this is what i like about him and it's refreshing to see somebody especially a man of color trying to help other people he's rising and he's grabbing his hands and trying to uplift other people and he's helping other people that do, just don't have because it's so many people that don't have stuff right now y'all it's ridiculous okay this is why i i try to at least from time to time do the cash app giveaways and i tell y'all if you watch some of the commercials this helps me you know raise that pot so that i can you know not only you know fend for myself and do things for me but uh, help other people too because i like doing for other people there's nothing in the world a better feeling than being able to help other people but i don't like to help other people that don't appreciate it y'all I don't like to be sitting back looking like a fool helping somebody that don't like me. So this is why I tell y'all I'd rather help strangers than to help people that I know if if they need it. Especially if they don't like me. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I would rather deal with helping the subscribers that every time I post a video up, I jump on there and support that video. 
They got me on notifications and everything. And they, they jump up in that comment section. If I need something, all I got to do is say it. And, and people will, they come through. Like, it, I appreciate my subscribers more than you all know, okay? And like I told y'all before, it's so much going on that I just have to step back sometimes for certain things because when stuff is so wishy-washy out here, especially with the election, y'all, the whole election is wishy-washy. And this is why I just have to just say I'm going to step back from the election stuff, period, because I know where I stand with this. And I, you know, I vote for God and I, only God is going to be able to get us through what's coming. Okay, y'all? Only him. Man is not going to be able to do it. Man been messing up stuff for years. And that's how I see things. That's how I see things. And every time I, I steer one way a little bit and then I hear something about this one and then I steer this way a little bit and hear something about that one, it just discourages me to even tell people when they keep on pushing me like, who would you da, 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 da. Because I found out later, oh, he didn't did this too and he's doing that. And, and it just, it's, it's disappointing, y'all. It's disappointing. That's why you can't put your trust in man. You cannot put your trust in man. Only person that you, only thing you can trust is God. And that's it. That's all. That's why I tell people, you don't have to go to church every Sunday. You don't have to go to the kingdom hall every Sunday um, to have a relationship with God. I have a relationship with God and I talk to him all the time. Okay. Because, you know, the, the very, the main reason that I have the biggest relationship with God is because everybody makes mistakes, y'all. Everybody does. Even, I mean, I make mistakes and I still make them because I'm still learning. And when you're getting into things that you don't really know or even still even understand everything about certain things, you know, you can still make mistakes when you don't understand, fully understand things. Okay, even when you have a really huge opinion about things, you can make mistakes about how you talk, how you say things. You can make mistakes. So this is why I have a relationship with God and I leave it in his hands. And that's it. For the people that were saying, Miss Lowdown, don't let nobody bully you. I'm not going to be bullied by nobody because I don't fear anybody but God. And I feel like if something is for me, it's for me. And if it ain't, it ain't. And whatever happens, it happens. And that's how I feel. Like, it's just going to be another stepping stone to move on to something else. That's how I feel about something. Or I'm going to rock with y'all to the to the, to the the wheels fall off, okay? And if it don't be on this page, it'll be somewhere else. Like, whatever may go down, like I told y'all, I'm not, I'm not tripping on it, okay, y'all? So, don't think that, you know, I just like to let y'all know what's going on. Because I don't want y'all to be like, what is going on? What happened? This and that. So, I like to tell y'all what's going on from time to time. But, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this. It's so much going on when I do take a break from being on here and it just having some time to myself to watch movies or um, watch other videos and catch up. People send me so many videos. Uh, a lot of people be wanting me to do um, gematria for them. And, you know, it, it's, it's just a lot that be on my plate trying to do everything. And I have to take a break sometime and I have to sit back and each time that I take a break I learn something I learn something else I learn something new and Lord knows this new generation you cannot stop learning about them because y'all it's so much going on out here that it is ridiculous y'all <laughs> Okay, just like now. I said there's so much going on, it's ridiculous. I just knocked over my water. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I'm about to jump up off of here, but I'll be coming back. I want to just show y'all a quick couple pictures real quick. I want to click on. Hopefully it goes through. <laughs>